Hey everybody, Glass Cannon, bringing you War Thunder. I'm going to show you this game. Last week I told you about this game a little bit, like I said I was going to check it out, or show it to you. This game is a little different than your standard, like than the World of War, uh, Warplanes was, because this one, you also get tank battles. Never done a tank one, so I'm not going to show you it, because I have... Literally no idea what I'm doing with that. So I, I don't want to show you that and look like a complete idiot. So this one is similar. Uh, it's through Steam. It's free. I know another Steam game. But it's awesome one. You got your research tree that you select what planes you want to research, what you're doing them with. Uh, this one you can clearly see I played a little bit more than the other one. I'm level 5 right now. Uh, I've only been in like, th I have like three hours of gameplay with this one right now. So I haven't played a whole, whole lot, but a decent amount. So with this one, you have your different plane countries, I mean. And I've been working hard on the UK. That's like where I'm at. I'm like the UK guy here right now. In your menu, you can choose what you want to do. You can do some tutorials or single message uh, like missions. Uh, there's a campaign. So use your missions. It'll take you to leaderboard, controls, game options, squadrons, leaderboards. I already said that. Replays, invite a friend. There's a bunch of stuff with it. Currently, I have no friends, though. There's a chat. You can check out the chat and talk to a bunch of people, which is like everybody. Then you have messages based on what happens. Like I just got an award for the sky is calling for 30,000 line head things and 3,000 light bulbs. <laughs> the light bulbs are convertible research which cost, unfortunately, golden eagles. Golden eagles is a premium currency which means it's the money that you have to buy. Then there's the silver lions which is the money that you get for completing missions. And you also get research for completing missions, too. So, I'm just going to go into an air battle arcade style, because you have realistic and simulator. And I'm just going to go into a battle. And when you go into battle, when you're waiting, it says searching for a session, and it'll show you the different types of planes that are waiting, like the different tiers. Uh, and normally, you don't get into rooms with tiers that are like obviously extremely overpowered compared to you you don't want to be a tier 2 guy going into battle with a tier 7 guy or something like that so I'm gonna start out with my mark 1 gladiator or mark 2 gladiator tier 1 this one's a domination one and what happens with this one is uh, there's little red dots gotta destroy them and we gotta capture airfields and you capture airfield by actually landing on the airfield. So you use like S to slow down and W to speed up. D and A do little turns. Q and E do little whiplash things. And you control. I'm using mouse controls again, but right click on this one zooms in for like better accuracy. And you can see down there we got a couple guys already landed on this airfield, so I don't need to go there. And I'm guessing that somebody crashed. The bottom left, it shows how many vehicles are left for each side. Red is the ones we want to destroy. Blue is ours. We're going at... Oh, there we go. We got some enemies. You don't see them until they start showing up. Like, it's based on your skills. And you can upgrade your crew skills, which I will show you after, after this a little bit. Now, I got a lot of planes in my view here, so I'm not sure which I want to... I'm going to go at these guys. Pull up. You gotta watch out if you turn too hard, you can uh, overload yourself with G forces and actually cause your pilot to pass out. Oh, oh no, I got on fire. Dude got me. Got me with a lucky shot. I can't get this guy. Oh, I got him once. I'm probably going to blow up. 
If you look in the top left right now, you can see that I got a fuel leak that's got 24 seconds. Oh, yep. Yeah. I was gonna just... Man, I was just gonna go down, too. Like, you can successfully land, and you'll bail, and it won't give anybody a kill. I don't, like... Anyway, it did that before. They might have updated it and changed that, because there was an update when I logged in, so they might have changed how that works. But like I said, you, I've got five planes, so I can keep coming in with my five planes. So we got A and B, and we just got C. So the top is like the score of the domination match, and you can see that the red side is going down, but ours isn't, because we have all three domination points. Also on the bottom left, we took out four of their uh, vehicles so far. So you want to either destroy all their vehicles, or run their domination out, or destroy all their planes. So, there's a couple ways you can, uh, you can do things, and if you hit tab, it'll show you all the stats you got available here. Like the score, planes, ground targets destroyed, there's a bunch of stuff. So right now I haven't been doing much, because, uh, I died. <laughs> see if I can get this guy. Slow down, slow down, don't you pass out, don't you pass out. Oh, there's somebody. He's going the other way, though. Let's try and keep that guy. Let's keep some pressure on this guy. Uh, easy with the overload. There we go, we're right on his butt now. Hey! No! Aw, oh, my teammate took me down. Nah, I guess that was my fault. I kind of jumped in front of him. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm, I use four fighters and a bomber. So... Right now, we're doing pretty good. I didn't do good that round. I got... What do I got? I got an assist on that one. Two deaths and only an assist to show for it. It's not good. So I think, uh... Oh, that's the button I was looking for. I couldn't remember it off the top of my head. If you middle click, like the mouse wheel, if you click the mouse wheel, you'll lock on, tar it'll cycle through targets for you to lock on. I'm gonna go after this guy. He's probably gonna kick my butt, though. Oh, he's trying to take A. He's gonna be a sitting duck, though. Oh, no, he's trying to attack A. Come on, buddy. There, I got him once. Got him again. Come on. Oh, I gotta reload. Ten seconds. Guns jammed. I think I got somebody on my ass, too. Like, my Spitfire guys are a little bit more trained, so I can turn harsher with them. Oh, got the assist. I'll get some extra hits on the way down. <laughs> So I got uh, two assists now. Good job, me. Alright, what do we got? Oh, this guy's coming at us. Yes, he is. Well, he's not coming specifically at me, but... He's got backup not too far away. But you know what? We're going after him. Come on, turn around, go after my friend. Thank you. Ah, I gotta push my nose down. We're good, we're good. Where'd he go? There he is. Uh, I can't. I got him a little. There we go. There we go. Took back. I got another assist. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, 
Oh, there's a dude. Let me get an aim. There we go, got him a little. Come on, buddy. I'm at an odd angle to him. Come on. There we go. Make him think he's fine. Down a little bit. There we go. I gotta reload now. Oh, he's capturing. Let me, oh, no, I can't reload quick enough. Four. Three. Ah, oh, he got down. Never mind. Hey, buddy. Who's this guy? Let's get this guy a little bit. Oh, got him. Oh, I almost just ran into a teammate. That was close. I'll let you get after him. I got another assist. What am I at? I'm at four assists right now. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Let's climb a little. Hit that guy a little. Book left. Oh, that's why ground units are hitting me. Let's take some of these guys out. I got no mark. Oh. I think I... Oh. Okay, I didn't die. I didn't die, though, so that's... My plane's not going to be as hard to uh, repair. All right, back in. I got like four assists that time, though. No, I'm up to six assists and a ground vehicle destroy. Oh, we won. That was a good at. We beat the crap out of them too. All right, guys, that's the gist of this game. It's a lot of fun. I like the the controls are more. I feel like they're better than war, World of Warplanes. And the gameplay just feels better. So, I don't know, it just feels better to me. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, no, I wanted to stop that. I wanted to show you, no, not that, uh, the crew. If you select your plane and go to modifications, no, not modifications, well, that's the place you can research stuff. But if you go, you click the button, you click your crew. What did I do? I go back. You can do test flights too in that way. There we go. If you highlight, you can go up to crew, like I wanted to. And I have five XP points, so I can give these guys, I'll give these guys another level of awareness. Apply. These guys, I'll give gunners. Do I got another gunner? No, I can't afford another gunner. I'll give him some accuracy, though, and then uh, precision. And if you highlight each thing, it tells you what, what it does. Like, I got a bunch of uh, vision. I'll do some awareness, some G-tolerance. That's helpful. That's extremely helpful, having G-tolerance, because then that is when, if you turn, like I was doing when I was turning the plane harshly, if your crew can handle it, better that means they can do harsher turns quicker which the crew usually is just like one dude is the pilot and the gunner like these guys i have like my bomber guys i got five gunners because they they need the extra dudes watching their own butt the cool thing about the bombers too is they'll shoot it'll lot the gunner will automatically shoot when you're not controlling the gunner because you can control a couple different things but that's pretty much war thunder it's pretty fun i enjoy it i highly recommend it i don't recommend world of war Th planes as much because i don't really like it myself but war thunder definitely recommend you guys blast that like button comment down below subscribe if you're not subscribed and share the video you guys have a fantastic day peace out